Robert Garcia, who will be coming in with her. Maria Rosales and Dr. Todd Anderson all work the corner along with Frida Gibbs. There she is. She's a raving beauty. Mia, the knockout St. John, 26-1-1. One one. This is her fifth fight this year, so she's been active. Been, been, been very active. There are a lot of skeptics who think this ring walk will be longer than the fight itself. But you know what? She does have a lot of heart. She's been on some major cards, a lot of the De La Hoya fight cards. I watched her in training, and I got to give her a lot of credit for, for going in there against uh, Christy Martin. And, and I, 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 she, has, she has skills, and she does have a lot of heart. And she's also getting the biggest payday of her life for this fight. She's coming in. And Christy herself told me, in reality, with all the hype away from the cameras and whatnot, I actually do have a lot of respect for Mia. We've had a lot of fun on the publicity tour. Uh, she called uh, Christy Martin trailer trash. <laughs> Christy called her a few names. But in reality, Christy has a lot of respect for Mia St. John. And she told me she thinks that Mia's fighting better now. And the recent fights that, see, uh, that she has seen her, especially working with the man behind her there, Robert Garcia, who was a great fighter in his own right, uh, that she's turning her punches over and uh, getting a lot more power in her shot. So Christy does have a little concern. And Freedia Gibbs in her corner, who's uh, been an outstanding uh, female fighter for a long time and, and has been doing a lot of work with Mia. All right, and now we'll have the ring walk of Christy Martin. And of course, uh, you heard Mia St. John say, this is the girl that made her want to be a fighter. And a couple of years ago when I did the uh, Frazier and Ali fight, Layla Ali told me the same thing, that it was actually Christy Martin that made her turn to boxing, not so much her dad's career. Although I think uh, Johnny McClain has done a brilliant job in capitalizing. And why shouldn't you on the great name of Ali? It's synonymous with boxing. But she's the girl of the hour, 44 and 2, two draws, 31 knockouts. She lives outside of Orlando, Florida, formerly from West Virginia. Mother and dad are here. She truly is the coal miner's daughter. Her dad and her brother, both coal miners. This was a tremendous athlete. Scored 70 points in a college basketball game. And when I used to describe her to people, Colonel, before people saw her on all those pay-per-views and she made her own name, I'd say, hey, this girl, Christy Martin, hits like a man, throws punches like a man, and uh, people have since found that out. We'll see if Mia finds it out here shortly. Well, I often describe her technical ability as good as any man, but she, uh, forget that, she's as good as any fighter at her weight class because technically she's a tremendous boxer. And she's on the back nine of her career too, and she knows it. She'd like to fight perhaps Lucia Riga, definitely wants to fight uh, Layla Ali, but this is the girl she has to fight tonight in uh, Mia St. John. Well, Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by for our main event of the evening. Once again, let's go to the classiest ring announcer of them all. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Silver Dome here in Pontiac, Michigan for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Peter Klapka's Revolution Fighting in association with Spring Communication as sponsored by Legend Mobile. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the Michigan State Boxing Commission. Our chairman is Dr. Michael Sherbin. Inspector in charge is Ted Kazemka. Along with the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, and the supervisor is Jerry Bolin. Introducing to you at this time are three judges scoring this bout from ringside. We have Dario Chiarini, Rosemary Grable, and Jim Homayan. And our third man of the ring, the referee in charge of the action. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Frank Garza. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, the Battle of the Cover Girls. Ten rounds of boxing for the WBC Women's Pound for Pound Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Pontiac Silver Dome, it's fight time! <laughs> Introducing to you first on my left, she is fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with pink trim, hailing from Los Angeles, California. She weighed in at 140 and one quarter pounds, with an outstanding record of 26 wins, one loss, one draw. She has 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of women's boxing's 
great stars, introducing uh, Mia Rosales St. John. And her opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round main event, wearing pink trunks with white trim, fighting out of Orlando, Florida by way of West Virginia. She weighed in at 144 pounds. Her outstanding record includes 44 wins, two losses, two draws, with 31 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC Women's Pound for Pound Champion, introducing the coal miner's daughter, Christy Martin. Once again, a referee in charge now to give instructions. Frank Garza reminding you this is 10 two-minute rounds of boxing scheduled. I need everybody out in the corners to set the chief second in the boxers. Chief seconds in the boxers only. All right, the referee, Frank Ladies Garza, the calls the combatants to the center the of the ring, giving the final instructions. Right, Christy told me she was totally distracted leading up to this fight. She only had 13 rounds of sparring. Okay, well, let's but she it. said, let's just look at my awesome trunks that were made by Tammy, Jim's daughter. <laughs> That's all I care about tonight. Key to this fight early will be how Mia reacts when she tastes the power of Christy. And Christy's determined that she's going to put power on her immediately. Ready? She's going right after it because Christy herself doesn't want this fight to drag into, well, beyond the second, third, or fourth round if she can help it. So don't forget the last two times up. She had a heck of a tough time against uh, Lisa Hollywine uh, going 10 rounds in her last fight. Here we go, Christy right after with a hook, right on top of her, digging to the body, and Mia's already felt the power of Christy Martin in the early going here in round number one. This is scheduled for 10. Mia faints a little bit, tries to get her jab. She wants to stay away and get off and try to survive this first round is the most important to her. Christy really not showing a lot of respect. She goes side to side, follows right after Mia, Mia almost twists her head as she throws her punches. Christy trying to get in there and land something heavy right away and make her feel the power. Christy uh, really, as throughout her career, hasn't worried about power, about anything but uh, landing power shots. Uh, wild with her shot that time. Mia does a nice job ducking away from it well, and getting under it. She's doing what she needs to do. Christy's trying to land the left hook to the body and then up to the head. There's a nice right hand by Christy. Mia has been stopped once by Rolanda Andrews a couple of years back in two rounds. Christy has that look on her face like, okay, I got this girl right now. Mia is doing what she has to do. She's staying away, trying to get some room, trying to keep the jab in the face of Christy, and don't get caught by the power shot early. They both faint. The head goes down of Mia St. John. If she puts her head down like that, Christy will crack her with an uppercut. Christy knows how to do that. Mia can't make those mistakes. See, that? See the head down like that? And when you have your head down looking at the canvas like that, she'll bang with the right hand. Mia's got to be careful of that, not take her eye off Christy for one second because Christy's on a mission here. Mia doing a good job, though, yeah. turning angles, creating angles, and making it difficult for Christy to turn over those power shots. And that's what she wants to do and position herself so she can get a little bit of power. Look at Christy digging body shots to the body of Mia St. John. Now, Mia's felt the power. She backs off, takes a deep breath, but she's doing what she has to do here to get through this first round. Remember the two-minute round, so there's only 10 seconds to go. Christy Martin trying to get power shots on Mia. Goes a little leading right hand, and Mia has survived the first round of this fight, and that is much to her credit. All right. So Mia will have a lot more confidence now, although she has felt some power. Look at the look on Christy Martin's face, though, uh, smiling and then feels like she can do what she wants with this girl. Well, I tell you what, Mia did exactly what she wanted to get through that round. Okay, Watch the body shots, though, here, Smitty, that Marty has for us. Okay, Inside, Christy coming in with the jab, free right hand to the hips, and those punches there will slow down Mia should this fight continue. Mia trying to use her athleticism and her legs to stay away. Christy has to keep herself under control as Mia is doing a nice job uh, getting the angles, creating angles, uh, try to get a little bit more offensive mind that, and don't make the mistake that she made in the first round by taking her eyes off Christy. If she continues to put her head down, it's just a matter of time before Christy will catch up with her. 
and Mia doesn't want that to happen. And a lot of fans, she's got tons of fans herself. Christy's not the only one with a lot of boxing fans. Here's Christy bouncing across the ring. 